God, it's wet. Don't put your hands over here, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks. You got one! Okay, put it back, put it back in. Good job fishing. <laughs> Pretty much it's the wild, wild west in my apartment right now. <laughs> my nose is ready so much. Ew. Guys, I had the best idea for a dinner time when you guys are sick. Here's another view of the charcuterie board. So many options. Good morning everybody, it is breakfast time and breakfast and breakfast alone is gonna be a voiceover because I was feeling real rough this morning, which is why I prepped my chia overnight oats the night before. I do this even when I'm not sick, it's really easy and you can do a bunch of variations of it. I'll leave a simple recipe down below. For today's it was just a mashed overripe banana, coconut milk, vanilla, I think that's the best. Greek plain yogurt, lots of chia seeds, like half a scoop of oats because it's all I had left, and maple syrup for sweetness, and you're good to go. And I get a lot of questions. Yes, you do serve it cold, eat it cold. It's great that way. You can top it with whatever fruit you have. I'm also gonna chug down one of these ginger shots. Very spicy, but good for the soul. <laughs> good for the soul. Now time to eat just relaxing yes TV is going I am sick it's just that time and any leftovers I put in the fridge and serve later no, that's what it is now 10 30 and we've had a stack of a pouch and an uncooked bagel very good do you want any more or do you want some fruit. We are taking the fruit that was not finished for breakfast and we're gonna put it in this little bowl. Oh my my nose is ready so much. Ew. I can't touch it right now. What? I've been washing my hands a lot, but she's she might get sick. I don't know. Would you like some fruit? Yeah, there you go. Okay, this is done. I'm gonna toss this. You eat that. Bobby should have a stack too because you starve a fever, feed a cold. I love you. I think I'm gonna prep some watermelon for a snack later and for a snack for me now. And if you want some too, we can all have watermelon. I do have half left because I ate half a watermelon to myself <laughs> yesterday. Ooh. Watermelon. Mommy has a sharp knife, so we have to be very careful. So if you want any watermelon, you just say, watermelon, I want watermelon, and I can get you a piece, but just don't put your hands over here, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Mama, mama, mama. You want, do you want some right now? Let me get you a good piece. Mama. There you go. Very careful with mommy, okay? She has a knife. Very careful with mommy, mommy has a knife, okay? Hi, B. Can we go change your diaper? I think we're gonna go change now your diaper. We have snacks and sides prepped and <laughs> why doesn't this fit? Oh, you're going on. <laughs> we're doing okay. Pretty much it's the wild, wild west in my apartment right now. <laughs> I don't wanna leave and infect anyone so I'm just trying to keep us in here. Uh, and so I am doing a lunch that I find so yummy. It's healthy, it's not the healthiest. It's a very yummy way to do top ramen, which just warms my soul. The first thing I'm doing right now is I have water boiling because I'm gonna soft boil some eggs. Yeah, there's a blue ball. I'm impatient, so I'm gonna call this boiling. Let's grab an eggy. Maybe I'll make some extras just so we have them. I'm very scared right now. Can I have that please? Ooh. Can I have the egg please? I think he has to go in the water. He has to go in the water. Can I please have the egg? Thank you very much. And set timer for 
six minutes. The timer just went off, so I have a little ice bath going. Ooh, let me actually turn that off. Is this gonna be hot? No. And we are going to gently scoop the eggies into our ice bath. Two chef over here. What we're gonna need to do, Arrow, with the top ramen, is you gotta smash it. You gotta make it real small. Smash, smash, smash. Smash it, smash it, smash it. The eggs are taking a bath and I'm gonna, that's the wrong one. Going to start boiling the water for the ramen. Two cups. Is that? Okay, there might be something in there, but it's fine. It's, uh, who knows, protein. You always shatter up the ramen. And it's better for toddlers. I, I don't know if I would give a baby top ramen. No judgment. I probably did. Times are tough sometimes. Breaking them up can be good for a toddler. If you do any type of a noodle, I always like cut them thin or break them up um, just because the long spaghetti like noodles or ramen noodles can be a choking hazard. For our veggie, I'm doing a cheating poor man's <laughs> sunomono. There's definitely better ways to do sunomono. I didn't have sesame oil, so it's just rice wine vinegar, soy sauce, and a little bit of sugar, and I kind of like cut the sides of the cucumber. Like if you see, uh, I cut some of the skin off. I think it tastes better that way, so this will be our little veggie side. How'd you get my keys? Can I get my keys, please? No. Okay. We're not going anywhere. We're gonna try to prep an egg nicely before the three minutes is up. I feel like there's a secret way to getting the shell off, which I am currently unaware of. Uh, Running underwater? Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, mommy's getting you uh, an eggie. You got one! Okay, put it back, put it back in. Good job fishing. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Okay, it's, I, I think I should have done five minutes, but this, this will do nicely. There's a hack I do, people might find this weird, but I put an ice cube at the bottom of the bowls to cool down the ramen. Good for kids, and, and I've just always done this. I'm gonna add a scoop of this good broth. Now what I do, people might find really weird, but I love to top my ramen with cheese. Once your ramen looks something like this, you just add the little eggie. I, woo! Woo! Okay. Sorry, I'm okay, Arrow. This is our lunch. Yeah. And you love your Sunamono. Yum. Mm. In the chair? It's dangerous when you stand. Can we please sit? Can we please sit in the chair? Can you sit? Thank you very much. Here. Mm. You want to get back in your chair? Okay. Okay. You need help or you got it? I feel like you might need a little help. There you go. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit run down. I just put her down for a nap and I'm so grateful she went down really easy. So I think I'm going to chug some coconut water. And I also got these like Manuka honey drops with echinacea and ginger. So I think that should be good for me. I feel like it left my throat and it's all in like my face and sinuses. <laughs> and like, honestly, I might take a nap. I feel like my body needs it. So I will come back for next snack time and then dinner. Oh, it's rough. By the time Arrow wakes up, it'll probably be around 2.33. And dinner is usually around six. So these are gonna be the snacks I give her throughout the day. I'm not gonna make anything, I'm way too tired. This pouch is by Once Upon a Farm. It is a fruit and veggie blend with kale and apples, and then just some soft dried dates. They're not hard at all, very nice to chew. And 
the Happy Tot Fiber and Protein Bar. All really easy, no prep, and healthy options that will get us through these difficult times. Good morning. How is he sleepy? Come on, let's go get a pouch. Okay, I'll get it. Pouch? And I'll take this. Thank you. You want me to open it? Do we have a plan for today? We could draw. Do you want to draw? Yeah? Pretty. You like yellow? Yeah? Guys, I had the best idea for a dinner time when you guys are sick. I'm gonna do a mommy toddler charcuterie board because there's no cooking. I can do a well balanced diet of fat and protein and fruit and veg. And if anything is left over and I'm still sick tomorrow, it can be a good snack. So let me show you what we are making for our toddler mommy charcuterie board. I'm cheating and I'm gonna start with this little pre-charcuterie board right here. It's just from Hillside. I think you get it at Ralph's. Starting with the crackers over here. Some salami. And then some cheeses. My toddler does a great job of eating pistachios. I feel like they're a soft nut, but not every toddler might do well with this. I feel very comfortable serving this as a little bit of protein, so I'm just gonna throw these in here. I'm also gonna start with a little thing of Sunamono that I pre-prepped. I know she's probably gonna want more because she loves Sunamono, but just gonna do a small thing. I don't want the liquids getting all over everything else. So I'll do some of these. Yellow bell pepper, some sugar snap peas, and quartered carrots. The carrots right here. Green up front. I also pre-cut some fruit that you probably saw this morning, but I did add some white peaches because they're in season right now. Nice sliced white peaches. And not forget about that watermelon we pre-prepped. I did eat <laughs> half of it as a snack for myself, but we definitely still have enough to finish off our charcuterie board. More carbs, so I have these lemon poppy seed muffins that need to be eaten today. So let me shuffle around and I'll put a little muffin there. Here we go. A toddler approved charcuterie board. I will probably nibble on this and let her have as much as she wants and then I'll eat something when she goes to bed again. Right now I'm starting to feel that um kind of sick where I don't want to eat so this is the, the perfect thing. I can nibble. This sickness is just taking me for a ride. Like I woke up and felt a little bad and then I started feeling better and then in the afternoon I started feeling bad again. And now it's kind of just getting worse as we fall into the evening. But as moms, we get no sick days. And so I really wanted to make this video to help any other moms out there that are unfortunately gonna have to deal with a sick kid toddler, child, we're getting into that season. Kids are going to daycare, school, preschool, classes, and just fall in general. I always get sick once in fall. I think the last time I got sick was early December of last year. I'm hoping this is my, <laughs> my one sickness, but now that we're starting a little preschool, I think I'm in for a wild ride. So, <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. I hope that it gave you some ideas and to know you're not alone. It is such a struggle to be a mom and have to take care of a child. I was actually thinking if it was harder if she was sick or wasn't sick. And I would say there's <laughs> positives and negatives to both. Obviously, it's super devastating to see your child sick. The only plus side I could see there is that she would want to relax and chill and take it easy as much as me when I'm sick. But 
when I'm sick and she's not, she is so full of energy and I feel so guilty that I don't have the energy to entertain her. So it's a, it's a win and a lose either way. Here's another view of the charcuterie board. Again, you can do whatever items your child likes. So you have the pistachios, watermelon, strawberry, white peaches, bell pepper, cut up carrots, sugar snap peas, cinnamono, cheese, salami, some little bagel crackers, and a lemon poppy seed muffin. And you have strawberries, and peaches, and bell pepper, and carrots, and sugar snap peas, and you have your cinnamono, and some cheeses, and some salami, and some bagel chips, and a muffin. And have some watermelon. Mm-hmm. I like pistachios. Mmm. These peaches are really good. You gotta try one. Yummy. Really? You're not obsessed? Okay. So many options. Mmm. Mommy, have a bell pepper? This one? Okay. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Right. It's right here, but she can't have the pistachio. In case you are wondering what I'm having for dinner, I just, I have a craving, okay? I will also be having an adult Lunchable to myself. <laughs> I think that wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you're watching this sick like I am, you got this, we can make it through it. It's a tough time, but you are not alone. And I will see you next Monday. Bye.